In this three-minute teaching with Tech Tip, we're checking out Lesson Pads, which until recently was called Mentor Mob, but they decided to change the name. To sign up, you can give the usual email address and password, or you can use Facebook or Google. Once you've logged in, just come up here and hit Create to get started creating your new lesson path. Give it a title. So I've gone ahead and given this a title, I've given it a description, I've indicated that this is academic as opposed to recreational. Under the categories for different types of academic videos, I've chosen technology, and I've created some tags that will help this be found uh, as I'm going to make this one public. But I could choose to make it unlisted and private, which gives you the kinds of options that can be very attractive and in some cases essential in the academic environment. So when I save this and get ready to start adding content, I'm going to go ahead and click Add Step, and now I can paste a link to just about any kind of web content. I can upload a file. I can write an article directly here in Lesson Pads. I can even add a pop quiz. If I click Paste Link, I simply have to paste in a link of my choice. So I'm going to use some videos I've created as part of the three minute teaching with tech series as um, some of the content that I'm going to use here. So I've gone ahead and added one video. And that's going to become available as part of my lesson path. And then I'm going to go ahead and add another video. So there's my first step. And I want to go ahead and add another step into this bit of content. I'm going to hit this little plus sign over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in another link. And here's another link. And again, this happens to be to a video. I'm going to have a few different videos here in this um, set of content, but you can add your own documents, you can add any kind of web page. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and add in a web page, which also shares another three minute teaching with Tech Tip. We'll save that. Here's a helpful thing to know too when you add a web resource, it's going to look at the uh, image content that's available there and if you decide that there's nothing good there you can add a custom create and add a custom thumbnail um, simply by clicking on custom thumbnail and then going ahead and browsing out and adding it once you've created it or found something that you want to use in place of what it found when you're done editing your lesson path content just hit this done editing button knowing that you can always come back and edit it further if needed to share your new lesson path hit the share button up here and you'll discover that there is a link option there's an embed option and there are multiple uh, social media based options and here i have logged out of lesson pads and just pasted in the url so that we see what it looks like to a user and they have this first bit of content that starts playing right away. If they hit next and go on to the next bit of content, that will start playing. Or if it's a web page, they'll just see the web page. And here we have an example of a web page. And those are the basics of lesson pads. So go check it out.